What up everyone, Zonora here coming at you with another episode. Today we're going to talk about esports as uh, Omar God is going to be the starting jungle for Content Logic Gaming. Dardosh is leaving CLG, so farewell to him. He's going back to Team Liquid right before the playoff and right before the end of the regular season of the NLCS. So for me, it's like... I don't know who is Omar God, and I wanted to find out who he was with you guys and just share you like maybe his history, uh, what he did on in the past, what champion he's playing in solo queue, uh, what high mastery he has in one champion, etc. Just so we can together discover what he's about. Uh, we saw him play in the LCS one game where he was just a sub. Selji had a six-man roster with two jungle, which were Dardosh and Omar God. And we saw Omar God playing an Olaf, and he ended up the game like seven. Oh, he ended up the game like seven zero, something like that. Like a crazy, crazy uh, performance from him for a first game in front of a crowd and all that stuff. So. Let's just see the article that CLG posted. Uh, I want to know what they are saying about Omar God. Of course, they're going to say a lot of good things, but I just want to know. So the first thing is said by the guy who is writing this article, or I'm guessing the owner. He says, Omar has a really strong learning curve, and his ceiling seems to be very high based on his mindset, said head coach Zix. So that's what the coach said. He has dedicated himself not only in game but out of game to find ways to improve. He works to make sure every game is better than the last. So of course this is a mindset that everyone should have playing the game. We know we only have four weeks until playoff starts, which is which must be very stressful. Um, as we have week eight, week nine left, and we then they have. 10 days break, I think, or two week break, and then they jump into playoffs. But we are confident that in those four weeks, Omar will become one of the best jungles, junglers in North America. And then uh, Afremu, so the captain and supporter of the team, ends up saying, Omar is hungry, uh, hungry for success, and I'm glad he has added to our roster. We have four weeks to train him up to a uh, level expect him, and I have no doubt that he'll be able to reach that level with our team. So I encourage you to read the news, guys. I will post the link down below. But basically, we don't know a lot about this guy. Like Omar God, um, as much as we, as much as his team, his coach, and his captain are trying to say he's going to be the best, one of the best junglers in America, it's hard for us to to understand what he's about, his data, and everything. But I do agree that he he has this hungry mindset, as he said. Uh, he had a very like emotional interview that you guys should watch. Um, and he talks about how work, how hardworking he is, how dedicated he is to becoming a pro, and to just make CLG proud and all that stuff. So what I did, guys, is that I started to do some research on his eSport Wiki. So if you don't know eSport Wiki, it's a website that gives you some information about players, teams, events. Uh, if you guys need to do research or something like that, please go there. It's a great, great team. So as you see guys, we don't have a lot, we don't have anything at all to be honest, uh, yet. We just know that he's a jungle for CLG Academy, which used to be called CLG Black. And now he's joining, so the news hasn't passed on this website, but he's full time now uh, onto, onto CLG. And we know he's a jungle, and that's pretty much it. Like, he's American, um, so that's pretty much it. He started to play for CLG, though, in November 2016. So, very recent player. Uh, I wish we could knew his age, uh, but he looks pretty, uh, like, young. Um, early 20s, I want to say. So, then I went to see a CLG Academy, but there was really nothing. Like, they don't have a match history, so they haven't really been playing together a lot. But he played among few players that I don't really know about. Like, this, all that I don't know, except Vulcan, maybe. Uh, but, yeah. All that Hacha GG, of course, they're known. But I couldn't really find data on him playing in a team. So what I did is that I if I, I went to Pro Builds. I wanted to see what he does, and I still couldn't find anything. And I decided to go to Lolking and see what, what, what he's about. So I, the first thing I did is that I looked into his masteries to know uh, what he was playing. And it turns out he's a leasing... I, want, I don't want to say OTP, of course, because he's a pro gamer. Pro gamers aren't OTPs. But he has 
thirty three hundred thousand points on Leeson, which is huge. Uh, knowing that the 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 second place is only at sixty nine thousand, so uh, pretty sure that he played Leeson to get Challenger or stuff like that, and then he started to expand his champion pool. We have Rengar, we have Graves, so all those are meta picks. I want to say. Then we have Gragas, which it's coming back. Nidalee and Olaf, the champion he played in the LCS for his first match. Elise Rexai. And we have Kindred here for the jungle, Kha'Zix, Warwick, uh, Vi, Ekerim, Sejuani. So, I mean, those are a little like below the 10,000 points, but we can see that he's a meta player. He, like, he usually plays the meta, uh, and that's a really strong uh, champion pick. Uh, he played champion pool, sorry. He played Olaf. We only know how he plays Olaf, which is very aggressive and with a tanky build, which is, which is very, very interesting. And his playstyle was very nice. I cannot wait to see him on Listen or maybe like uh, Ranger or even Graves or even like Elise. I think like Elise could be a very strong champion as well. So I also did did some research and went into his match history to see what he's playing. So he's currently um, he's currently a master in um, solo queue, master one, two hundred and eighty nine point with a fifty point five fifty five point three percentage of win rate and. Let's just see. Wait, let's just see. Rank it. I don't. I don't think he played normal, but he's been playing Sejuani lately, which uh, is understandable. And he's been playing a lot of Sejuani actually. Some ADC games, some support game, whatever. A lot of Ramus. I've seen a lot of Ramus as well. Like one Ramus, two Ramus, three Ramus, four Ramus, five Ramus games. More Sejuani, some Kazakh, some Maokai. You know, Maokai was top here. Uh, definitely playing some Shogaf. I mean, this is one of the strongest picks. Oh, he lost at A25. Oh, that, that sucks. He also plays some Kindred. I personally don't see Kindred in Plat, uh, but I, I really want to know how he plays Kindred because it's a, such an interesting uh, champion with such a unique uh, ultimate. He does play support a little bit. So it seems like he, he plays, of course, he plays jungle as a main role, but sometimes he plays other roles. So, like, support, ADC with Xayah here, Xayah there. Uh, so yeah, it's interesting to see. There, I wish I could tell you more about him. I simply wish I could tell you more a little bit what he's about. But this is only the data that is shown by the internet. So it's just for me and you guys to get a better idea of what uh, he is about. He's playing for CLG, one of the best team, one of the best organization in esports in North America right now. And he definitely has a lot of weight on his shoulder. Um, he has to... Right now CLG is number... Two, like they lost against Immortals. Let's just look it up. So they just lost against Immortals in the week seven, if my memory is right. I, I'm following so many scenes, like it's it's hard for me sometimes to keep up. But he he like so they're like oh wait, let me just check, let me just check guys. One second. So yeah, they're level two, they're they're ranking number two because they just lost to Immortals. They will be securing they should be fine to qualify for playoffs. I think they will, but then Omar God has kind of a pressure because, well, let's see what first match he's going to play. So week 8, guys, CLG is going to play in team, team Envious, Team Envious, which is, uh, I want to say middle of the table, middle or bottom, one of the others. Sorry if I'm playing with my pen there. Um, so he's playing as Team Envious, which is 8 and 6, number 4 equal to Team Desu. That's actually a good first match for him, I guess. It's not too low, it's not too high, like uh, Immortals or TSM. I think it's perfect for him to get started. This is definitely a perfect match for him to warm up and get started into this week. And then he's going to play against Phoenix One, which is going to hopefully give him some confidence. He's playing as the last, so he really has nothing to lose, and it's three points for him to grab. And then in the week nine, he's gonna play Team Dignitas, who is also trying to get uh, the second spot with Envious. And he is gonna play after that. He's gonna play TSM. So good for him that he's in playing TSM as his first match for his first week into uh, the the regular season. He gets to play Team Envious, which is in the middle of the board. Then Team Dignitas. Uh, so. It is actually, I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him that he can build up gradually his experience uh, on scene. Because it's also him playing at a competitive level. But it's also play him playing in front of a crowd. Uh, with a different setup. With like uh, 
uh, audio cancelling, uh, headphones, uh, all that really matters. Like we, we've seen a lot of players in competitive gaming just choking in front of the crowd. Uh, I'm thinking about, for example, Seraph, the Korean player who was imported from Korea to CLG Gaming about, I want to say three years ago, four years ago maybe. And his first match, he straight up threw up. He had to stop, like he had to stop playing. He was just running to the bases to throw up. I remember because I was a shotcaster, and there was a huge break, and we had to wait like minutes, and we didn't know what happened. And it was like, oh, okay, he actually threw up because he was getting sick. Like the pressure, people looking at him, people online, uh, the stake of the game, because this is the end of the season. Like they're not in deep shit. Like they're not going to be relegated. But they want to score as many points as they can to get a good seed at Words, to to rush into a good playoff, just to do well for the fans, and all that. So yeah, oh my god guys, the new jungle for CLG Gaming, Dardush is out, going back to Team Liquid. I don't think it's a huge loss for CLG, and I do think that oh my god is going to be... Uh, Good. I cannot wait to see more of him, to be honest. His first game was very convincing. He did very well with a pick that we almost never see in NLCS, which is Olaf. So I wish him the best in his career and his start of his LCS journey. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for watching this, guys. If you want more esports news, if you want me to cover anything that is esports related or gaming related, make sure to let me know. This has been the news for the CLG Gaming roster. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next one. Cheers. Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling.